500,000, we are wasting time. Of that, make life easy for you. So that's the idea of segmenting. So you can easily pinpoint that, okay, um, people in Bagada, they're having a downtime in the network. Okay. So if I'm going to provide efficient, the little resources that the network that you have, the little point that you can give, why keep who you give in Bagada? You give the value of the Sorry, that's the nice. Because you know that the IRL customer will give you a revenue of 50,000 or 10,000. So it's the idea. So then you come and see. So I try to also talk about market segmentation. I've already talked about customer segmentation. So because segmenting people is cost. So but also in markets, there are different markets. When I mean markets, um, uh, let me use the literal word. At least you know there's machine markets, uh, ocean markets. So it's just like you want to say markets, different. Take for example your youth segment, your working class segment, they are different markets. Or the location, you can also call it market. It's just a cluster. We use one markets to just try and say different clusters based on the next So I, like I said, primary categories of segmentation, you can segment based on business markets and also consumer markets. But precisely because me, I work on that consumer analytics, I will talk more on consumer. But also for business, we also segment under different industries. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go to the next slide. Yeah. Yes. 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 That they are available to them. Because you can't know one person in 60, 70, over 150 million. They are wasting your time. Something in economics we call alternative for good, which is more opportunity cost. Now, you have 50 naira loaf of bread, maybe 25 loaf of bread, and you want to give 50,000 people or 10,000 people. So, in life, normally you say equality, you divide it, and everything. But you are looking at, okay, if you divide it equally, it's, it's good. The quality is nice. But why not you can look at the highest people that if you will actually give these people to sustain the living guy, rather than giving the people that they will die. Let me explain again. Let me explain. That's confusing. Yeah, let me explain. Take for example, you have 15 people. As of that 15 people, you are sure that if you have 15 people, like 10 of them, they can sustain without food for that small period of time. And you only have five minutes of bread. But the remaining five, you'll be able to cluster them, segment them that they will be able to survive without food. So if you share this bread that is five minutes of bread among 15 people, these people will definitely be there. You are yeah. yeah. As you is like, <laughs> okay, these people will collapse. <laughs> so the idea is, so now if you segment that, if these five loaves of bread, since you know this one, they can manage and survive, the 10 people, why not just only give this cluster? So at least you still retain the 15 customer. It's going to, this idea of segmentation will go to my next stop, it needs to be John. So I will explain it better on John. Let's see. So John, now you want John. Um, some of us do that. Some of us have 15 SIM cards or 10 SIM cards. You know, they had one blow. <laughs> you are actually the one that makes this thing very difficult to make for me at work. <laughs> then your, your pattern is so unpredictable. You go to them there today, you go for two months. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea of John is. Time we want to understand our customer, but it's necessary for any business decision to understand that what is the probability that this person will need. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you that then. Have you, because the uh, itself they can tell you the propensity, that will be the propensity, or the probability that you are not going to use that as the next level of two months or three months, based on your pattern. So that's the idea of choice. It's actually a very, very interesting 
use case because it's not only used in telco industry, it's used in all industries. Take it bank. Walmart did something, if you saw for people that do amount of work, they measure chunk. They measure the propensity of them to come back to their website to buy something. Or they measure the propensity, I am not going to buy from Junior, I am going to buy from Honda. In every industry, they want to know, okay, I have a customer, you bought something for me five times, you are already my customer. What's the probability I put you closer? What's the probability I get you? In any industry, it is a waste of resources to get to your customer. It is easier to maintain your customers. Anybody that did business, no matter, I'm, I'm also doing my MBA, so at least I can say more about this. So it is a pure waste of resources to get new customers. Because the effort you, for you people that are not even going to pack, for you people that is to go and preach, yes. It is easier to maintain someone going to church and look for a new convert. <laughs> I remember the way they come and knock my door. <laughs> Once I heard them, I just got <laughs> But when they say come in, I'll go in time. I know that, ah, there's one fine sister among them. <laughs> I just started opening my door. <laughs> so they're able to maintain me easily because of the fine sister. So that's the idea of John. Oh so John is to describe, John is just the an idea to describe a customer attrition or loss. That I said it is used in all industries. Anything that engages people coming back. See, any business wants you to come back. Any business. Because we are setting up business so that you can and they say social media is addictive. Everything is addictive. That's the idea of business. You want it to be addictive so you can come back. You can't collect your money once. <laughs> So the idea of that brings us to something very important in the churn, which is churn rate. See, the moment your churn rate is higher than your retention rate, the business is going to go down as fast as they are started. Nokia is a typical example. For all of us that know Nokia, that's pretty thing. How long? Eh? No, no, all of us that know the catastrophic thing and see me say five five ten. Ah, don't mind me, I know I did this so for now. Yeah, and try on. Now, look at that lifestyle and look at what the market is saying now. Nokia, they said Nokia came back. Nokia didn't come back. Because they came back, the last one they did is X6 or S7 or something. Now, look at the market share, the market share compared to 2014 or 2007. Because the only core customers, the core markets now is the Apple, Samsung, Xiaomi, Huawei. If Nokia had played their game well, they would have owned an OS. Because then they have this Symbian phone and they can own that market. And the moment you own an OS in the phone in in industry, you own at least 70% of everything. Because everything sits upon you. That's what Huawei um, um, is trying to do on May. And they've done it. They just need the market to get it. So the idea of John Reeves well, for Nokia was they were making profits, but they were not in innovating. So they are trying, they are they are they, they, they were get, they thought they were getting new customers, but they were churning. Because then Motorola Blade came out, that was the end of Nokia. Am I, am I right? Yes. For all of us, that this was Motorola Blade that was started at the end of Nokia. And Motorola Day came out, top Nokia, I need to die. I need to die immediately. That's what's in So I have a video. So I'm going to explain why the video. Why John is the show. Now look at this. The market is saturated already. I know people like four sims, nine sims. You can't tell me that one. you. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense. For me to be pushing all of you again. So I segment you. So I look at your data that I have. Look at the thing that I have this appears you most. Is it big? 15 gig? 10 gig? So then we are doing like four. <laughs> I load it to your phone that we are doing it. It is called target marketing. 
So that is, I know you, I know that you're the one that can go you. For all of you that can still stay food that I won't touch, I don't have to mess So I just target my markets to do that are going. And I retain it. It's just a simple thing. And I'm using all the sources and coming to the old of she put big banner, play music for everybody. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> and the disturbing people like me that want to sleep in my house. <laughs> no! I am I just said, okay, this customer blah 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 blah. You have high risk of going to So what's your customer he likes? Oh it's really nice for her. that's the size for <laughs> And maybe at the day he's going to go and buy this thing, just to say like The guy thinks of it, nice, but it is still. Rather than wasting, now, you notice the resources I've saved myself of creating an awareness that sometimes as, as dead as is dead on arrival. Yeah. Than a particular, that, uh, that targeting the right customer and not wasting the resources for somebody. Some people will know you are a real customer just for you. Let's continue. 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 let us i mentioned this. Also, sometimes it might be inadequate service. Sometimes it might be the offers are not appealing to you. Sometimes it might be you might be dissatisfied. You are trying to call the customer care. So, so everything a customer does on the any on on the telephone company is sensitive to us. If you drop customer care, what times we see? We flag the limit. Yes. People might not know at that level, but you don't know what was happening, what is happening, what is the moment a customer gets doesn't pick somebody who comes with it is great importance to us because this customer starts with dissatisfaction. Now it might also be the one of the easy, it must also be difficulty in managing customer data. You you called me and you said your you said your phone was stolen and you want to seem swap again and I can't produce your data. I will get angry out of you. You don't know what you are doing with yourself. I did SIM registration, blah 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 blah, blah. and I want to do SIM stuff, I'm making life difficult for me again. Let's continue. So, for person to, uh, to join, like I mentioned, so the, one, of the, one, of the, one of the first thing you think that inform us that somebody wants to join, you want to run, when we're charging 5,000 5, every month. And you start borrowing to 200. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the first thing I will do is I look at your location first. Yeah, where did, did you change the location? Maybe there's no charge card in that area. Send the charge card to that area. So, or you often buy that are often. You have roll over. And something happened. No more data. Your caller, your line has not been making calls again. If you are not if you are not a sensitive businessman and you can't really go and look at what is wrong with you, then you are not going to do business. People don't know see businessmen are wise, intelligent and smart people. And that is why they are for business. They are ready to go for it all out. So the idea of John is okay, look at something is changing, especially your spending pattern is actually one of the core things we it tells a lot about you. It tells a lot about you. That's why when you notice your core pattern is getting good, they first give you bonus to test whether so it's core pattern. When, when you don't take those two bonus, they are something is wrong. Let's go and find out what is wrong. You look at the claims you have been complaining. Because it might not be your same pattern, it might be in an area that there's no network. And you call customer care, or maybe your line was blocked by maybe your, your kids when they are pressing call forward or you know, something, something. And then you see, download my MTN app, you know something. I try to tell you that, do it here, you know, and see what is your problem. Then call customer experience on the network. Some, somehow, sometimes, it's the way you spoke to them, the customer is just here, it just speaks to you that I know you. And it's look at it now. It might also be the way you get to the shop, you want to do something, and maybe you are finding maybe you don't do it. If you want to even buy something, I need love you. Just that. That's 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 these are some of the things that are important. Let's continue. So 
There's something called customer profitability mapping. Now, with all the things I've said, the first thing you have to talk about is how to identify this customer and be able to map the customer right now. Map the person right now. But people in Telco will use the data calls, we use the value by the average value the voice calls and the same revenue. And it's things that tell us about yourself. Things that can inform us about yourself. The next, so the trauma modeling process. You have the project mapping, the data identification. These are the normal data science projects. See, this one I just put it there as a image. It's the things you do end that you want to you want to uh, you want to build something, you want to design the model, you want to do uh, I mean uh, once you do the mapping, once you do the data collection, you do the cleaning, it's the normal, normal literal things that happen. And the deployments. So the, the reason why I do this here, this one, is actually the most important part of the project. It is scoping and the frameworks. If you want, when you miss this one, forget that you can code. You will code your yeah? you code the internet. Because if you code in, coding things, because this idea is you bring on stakeholders that understand some parts of the business to give you the right understanding. Yeah, there's no, it's not, it's not, there's something called domain knowledge and uh, Python knowledge. Let Python knowledge. You can go to your head, you can write the first name, fantastic. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. But if you don't have the domain knowledge, let me explain the domain knowledge. You don't under, have the right understanding of what is really happening in this. You don't understand the customer very well. It's not only people that do great job, are not only people in and coding, I don't know. There are people that actually also have the, uh, the domain knowledge, they understand the markets. They can tell you okay, this is what is really happening in the mission in the real life. Just that because what this is so good. They are also there are people in network that tell you okay, network in this case maybe it's not that good. So it can inform some of the decisions that is happening here by some of the customers. So that's why I said that is very important. You need to bring the right people that, that have the right mindset, that have the right things, not just Collect that car, start to use like a razor, start to use. Okay. <laughs> Next. One. So, th- th- some of these are some of the variables. See, I, I just put this one. Is it like the data you have will determine the variables that you think. You might not get this. Most of the time in data, you reproduce your data sets. You reproduce your data sets. Uh, if you just use, if they call it data augmentation. We just take in data and just put, uh, plug all of them into a model and start. Okay. So you have to. Let me, the idea of producing this is that you have um, K2, Oshodi, Bagada, Adela Deku, and everything. Do you have to say Adela Deku, VI, Bodilon, the high value area? Create a cluster, they call it one. K2, Adela, my two. Another area. Put it to Java, Akoka, maybe that's the class. So this informs that. Why? Because when you start to ask, you cannot take all this area one by one. I said, you don't need 5,000 people. No matter, you don't need more data types because everything is just on your laptop. Just go to work, take coffee, drink, sleep, and wake up. But you understand what I mean. So at that point, you can say, okay, uh, what is happening in the low value area? You understand. You can really inform me. Because notice that K2 and others, they have the same characteristics. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. Question. You know that people in uh, Yaba, Akoka, they have that similarities. Not all, but the idea is it might not be everything. So also notice, it might not be everything. That's why I wanted to do something. If I want to explain what this means. And start that division. Because that will bring us to something called normality. If I, if I will just let him open my lab, because I, I prepared the code for us, think I will send it out to all of us so we can have the code and see the way, the whole complete model from end to end. So I will try and tell me explain. We have, you plot a graph. Am I, are you following? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to explain better so you get the theoretical point. You have to plot the graph of people in case. 
And when you plot the graph, you have something like this. The mean is here. Expand. So, reasonably, you can say everybody lies between this bound. Let me call this is lower bound and upper bound. But you now plot another graph. I noticed the thing went like this. And the mean is here. Does it, see, this, this is, you don't need to write me too much. You should understand that at this place, the mean is cute. That means the more of the people here, they are here. The more of the people here. But the lifestyle of the people here, they are here. So maybe that, maybe take for example in your streets, there's one, there's one chairman. One big chairman. So his own value is as of as some zero to your own. That's why I said you need to meet people that understand what is happening. Don't just write the code. End to end. So that's why I said when you plot the graph, when you are doing your data, um, what they call it, around here, you are trying to see the variables that are there. Once you see some things that are not, you do correlation, you do mapping, you look at different um, distribution. Uh, normal, don't worry, data, I need to introduce you guys to it. Normal distribution, you know, the all those type of similarities. Look at okay, what was happening before, the past history, what is happening now, how much is the mean spend in this area, how much should it be in this area. Okay, in rainy season, the mean spend is this, in dry season, the mean spend is this. So that is, now, sometimes, the best day is to put yourself in that environment. Sometimes I just take my house and just look to some environment, not because of it. I just go, I just buy corn on the road. You understand? I just engage the woman. That's why I said you need to gain knowledge. You need to gain knowledge. So you just plug in your code. It doesn't work that way. Let's continue. So town management is, it, it, as I said, it's for all businesses. It's not a use case for telco, it's a use case for all businesses. Some industries died today because they couldn't manage their customers. Culture management is managing your customers. A business that is not a business that is not for the customers will die as soon as it started. I can see that more very very well. We've seen industries that have done the same thing. So the idea of churn management is customer management. But we just use from to explain that the propensity of this person to be good. So of trunk. Now, if I can tell you with probability of the person that is going to be my company, I can tell you the probability of the person that is going to stay. If I can tell you the probability of the person that is going to buy to the in their car, it gives you the right mind to plan your business. You know, I, okay, if I'm, if take, for example, I'm using a shop, a, a shop that sells um, gari, puli puli, and grand, and I can tell you that more of your eye, uh, more of your customers will be buying puli puli. What will you talk about? Put it, put it now. It's just a simple. It's just looking at your trends, the things that happen, and using it to make informed decisions. You know your customers are not buying paper and chat card anymore. And you are just stalking it in the library. Are you serious? You are wasting resources. Because you know they move now to automatic payments, BT. So you just reduce that paper payment, you just increase BT. It's just simple mindset. Simple, it's not it's just simple logic that they just give. Like I said, simple things they give common sense. Let's continue. Okay. Ah, I thought. Don't mind me. I just repeat it. So, um, please quickly just go to the code. I just touch it and that's all. So, no, it's fine. No, worry, I'll send this to you guys. So, the idea of churn management, the, like I said, is not for just the it's for everyone. So it's just the idea that you can be able to predictively be able to say that this customer is living, this one is not living, this is what they do more, this is how they be, it's understanding the behavior of just a single customer in a large group. Thank you very much.
that okay, I subscribe like every week. I mean, every day I use that, and I subscribe every week, and I'm annoyed that. Why is that I don't And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they don't bring like a kind of quality that I want. And I'm not going to be like, okay, they kind of thing that I recharge every year. So it's like, I don't know why I'm doing that. And I don't know why I'm doing that. But I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know Now, so you just answer. I do 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 Sometimes when you are registering your data, you are registering your um, your WeChat, you are buying it for the first time. So you can register it. So at that point, instead of calling that person a full customer, you are in the middle. So at that person, you are not even inside the same person. But you are not really pleased because of not uh, you know the data that you have to register. Yes. So you are not going to be using it. Because some people are not really well pleased at all. But you can't put it in that place because you know, okay, you are seeing a day, um, la, um, uh, and you are seeing female. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you getting me? That's one. Now, number two is sometimes, um, when we close that, we, 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 you get me. And I'm pushing random or fast to the person. There's also, we don't always say directly, there's also some kind of grab. Because it works sometimes. Yeah. So I'm pushing random or fast to this person. I might not get the person in the first person, but sometimes it might get out of work. So one of the things like I would say sometimes is for people that are real customers. <laughs> I will take this food and pack it. Eh? And I need to do something about it. Remember, I registered with the program 20 steps. I registered, I did register, I think, and it called me, I think, last month. I didn't say that she didn't register with her. Called me to go and register again. Thank you. 
And when you get to the cold zone, it's the cold zone. That's that the difference. But then they won't call you. I'm not saying. They like to see on the <laughs> Any other question? Yeah. Okay. You can check it out. It's called reinforcement learning. So, please, uh, any other question? I keep myself. I need to go somewhere soon. <laughs> uh, uh, two hands. Uh. Okay, one last one. Last one. Last one. Uh, okay, please. See you later. Thank you. 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 So um, the reason behind the whole use case stuff so that everybody get a picture of, I hope we've been hearing about ideas. So the next assignment is writing about a use case. Like pick a use case, write about it. Like everybody has to do that. Um, basically, if we had like enough time, I wanted to show you like people that did the assignment. I wanted to go over it, and, but like we'll do that next week. So that will be your um, assignment. So everybody has a million account. Yes or no? So there's a question of uh, when should they start doing it? They are not for part of We know. But they, um, they, should, they can come next. They can bring them next. So I hope that's correct. Does everybody have a medium account? Because when you're getting emails,